Hi, Kendall. Right, guys, we will get started. So I hope you're all, I'll come a little bit forward so you can see my face just whilst I chat. I hope you're all well and you've had a good week. Um, this week we are going to focus on doing a bit of a mixture, just a full body. We've got some lower body movement and upper body movements. And it's just going to be a really slow, chilled, relaxed one whilst we take you through this session before the next week starts. I don't know about you guys, but before I even started this, I was doing a slow down Sunday session. And I just found it really a really good way to like end one week and start a new week. It just kind of gave me time to reflect, which giving myself time is not something I do often as I'm always on to the next project or hustling away. So it's yeah, really great, great time just to kind of clear your mind. So we are going to start in butterfly pose as per usual. So just getting that pillow or if you've got a towel, putting that in the middle as well of your lower back. Making sure you're a nice temperature before we start. So you just want it to be going from your tailbone all the way up to your neck or even your head if it is a pillow. Just bringing those hands together and we're just going to go all the way out to the side. Letting those pecs relax. Same with your knees, bring those knees together, just shake them side to side a little bit and then bring them out to the side. Starting to soften those eyelids, calm down that breathing. Find that place that you're coming to. You guys are all here for a reason, so hopefully it is to clarify your mind and end when we can start another one. We just want to start by letting those muscles relax. Letting those hips sink into, those ground, into the ground. Feeling the cold texture of the floor and the feet, the outside of the feet. Letting those knees sink down. Each vertebrae in the spine is just going to feel a little bit looser, a little bit softer. If you have been doing the Zoom workouts, you might find that your chest is a little bit tight, especially if you've not been stretching. You can start by inhaling in through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. We're going to inhale and exhale. Remembering as per usual with these sessions, we want to focus on three seconds as you breathe in. Three second hold and three seconds out. If you do find three second hold really uncomfortable, you can get rid of this, so just try and minim minimize it for one second, but really focusing on that three second inhale to pause and the three second exhale. Just going to stay here for a little while just while she get used to the position. I'm going to be quiet. Focus on that breathing. From here, you're just going to use those hands to push those knees back together, holding in steady. I'm going to remove that pillow and just rock those knees side to side, touching the ground if that feel com feels comfortable to you with those knees. You might feel a bit of a stretch through your obliques. There's been quite a few core exercises lately. From here, you're going to hug the right knee into your chest and elongate the left leg. Just hugging it and holding tight. Relaxing that head and those shoulders to the ground. 
making sure that jiu ball is not tense. Bringing that tension back to that breath work each time I stop speaking. Make sure it's flowing throughout as well. And here we're going to use the right hand on the right knee and just bring it out to the side. If the chair is too uncomfortable to hold, you can put a pillow underneath. If not, just hold there. So today's focus of the session is going to be on moving forwards. So as I'm sure you're all aware, we may potentially be going to level two next week. And life is going to speed up again a little bit. But now is the perfect time for you guys to think about what you've enjoyed about the lockdown and what you want to take into your future. Have you enjoyed not having obligations to see people or to be doing things the whole time? Have you enjoyed making more time for yourself like these Sunday sessions? Bringing that knee back to centre, just hug it tight again. Maybe you found a new hobby. Maybe you found nothing at all. I know for me, I've started very high speed and I've slowed down a lot since then. And that's okay, it doesn't mean you're failing. It just means you've got into a slower pace of life. We're now gonna use that left hand to take the right knee across the body. Aiming on keeping that right shoulder onto the ground. It doesn't matter if that knee is touching the floor or not. If this is uncomfortable, you can just put a pillow beneath the knee and let it sink into that pillow. Again, bringing that tension back to that breath work. Inhale, two, one. Hold, two, one. Exhale. Two, one. And again in your own time. As the weeks have gone on, we've thought quite a lot about what we've enjoyed and what we haven't enjoyed so much. And things have been changing slowly but steady. And with this, so might your opinions and thoughts. You might notice that as your thoughts change, your feelings and your behaviours also change. This is an act of mindfulness. It's an act of feeling about how you're thinking about how you're feeling before you act on it. We definitely have plenty of time to do that. Inhaling, two, one, hold, and exhale. Two, one. Inhale. Two, one, hold, and exhale. Two, one.
slowly just rolling back to center, still hugging that knee into the chest. The left leg elongated still. Enjoy the feeling of the cold floor on your lower back. I'm just going to stretch this right leg out. So holding either onto your hamstring or your calf, try not to hold directly behind the kneecap. Doesn't matter if your legs a little bit bent. You want to find a position that's comfortable for you. With any type of yin yoga, it's not about pushing yourself to the max, it's about taking time and enjoying the silence in each position. With every few sets of breaths, you may feel like you can pull your leg a little bit straighter. You want to focus more on straightening it and pulling it closer. And just breathe. If you find you're shaking a little bit, that's okay. Really focus that mind muscle connection. With each exhale, letting go of any stress or tension. Inhale for three. Hold. And exhale for three. Inhale for three, hold, and exhale for three. Just starting to wiggle that foot around, doing some rotations to the right, and some rotations to the left. Flexing that foot towards the wall and pointing it to the sky. And again, keep it moving. From here, we're just gonna hug that knee back into the chest. Again, enjoying the release, relaxation. Bringing the left knee up to meet the right. We're just gonna rock side to side. You can go into some mini rotations as well if you feel like your lower back needs it. And hug that forehead up to the knees. Squeeze tight, thank yourself for being here. And relax that head back down. This time we're going to drop that right leg out. Keeping the left leg with the knee close to the chest. Just basking in stillness. Enjoying the silence. Using that left hand, we're just going to bring the right left knee out to the side. You can hold on to the foot if that's more comfortable. We'll put the leg onto a pillow if that's comfortable for you. Just opening up those hip flexors slightly. 
Try not to let the opposite hip come off the ground. You still want both hip bones to be facing the ceiling. Again, bringing this tension back to your breath work. The breath work doesn't only relax the muscles and send the blood flow around the body, but it also brings a sense of stillness to the mind. It stops your brain getting distracted and going off on a tangent. Slowly bring that knee back to center, just hugging it tight again. Listening to the sounds around you. Any vibrations you can feel on the ground. Just letting them flow through. And here we're going to use that right hand to bring the left leg across the body. Keeping that left shoulder on the ground. You can put a pillow under your knee if that's comfortable for you. And inhaling in through your nose. Hold. And exhale. Letting any tension in that lower back and the glute release. I've been a lot of squats and lunges lately. Relax. Be fine, relax. Remember that muscle mind connection, releasing any tension where you feel pressure. And slowly but steady, bring that knee back to center again. Hugging that knee to that chest, relaxing those shoulders, making sure those arms aren't tense. We're just going to stretch that left leg out. So again, holding behind the hamstring or the calf, just not directly behind the kneecap. You might find that one side is tighter than the other. Focus with each breath and pull in a little bit closer or a little bit straighter. You might find you can walk those hands up slightly onto the calf or a little bit higher. You might find you can straighten that leg a little bit more. And 
we're just going to start wiggling that left foot. So round to the left, round to the right, pointing to the sky and pointing behind your head. To the sky and to the wall. One more time to the sky. And to the wall. Slowly bring that knee back into your chest again. Bring in the right leg up to meet it. We're just going to go for some rocks. Add some rotation if that feels comfortable. Hugging that forehead to those knees. And let go till you're fully lying down. Just letting those hands relax onto the ground. You might find those knees fall outwards with the toes. From here, you're going to put both feet as wide as the mat. You're going to cross your right ankle over your left ankle. This position is called the banana sana. Bring your right arm up and aiming to reach for your left foot with your left arm. We're just going to get a bit of a lat stretch in here as well as an oblique crunch. If this is too much, you can just keep your arms above your head rather than reaching over. And relax into the position. But some of you may not feel a stretch at all. If this is the case, just try and reach a little bit closer to that left with that left hand with each breath. aiming to think that way we're feeling any tension. Are you feeling a stretch or a squeeze? And then each exhale into that direction. Inhaling for three, two, one, hold, two, one, and out, two, one. Just breathing at your own pace. Maybe we're going to release back to centre. So bringing both feet wide of the mat again. Bringing your torso into the centre with those hands facing the ceiling. Your shoulders relaxed onto the ground. Just enjoying the ease of this pose. The ease of no stretches or squeezes. This time we're going to put the left leg over the right foot and bringing the left arm over the head, reaching that right hand to the right foot. 
time you should feel a crunch in the right side and a stretch in the left. Finding a position that's holdable for you. Still focusing on that inhale, the hold, and the exhale. If your mind wanders, that's all good. Just bring it back to center and you remember. Trying to reach a little bit closer if you can with that squeeze. And you're slowly going to come out of it and cross those legs. Back to centre with the torso. Rearrange those shoulders. The palms facing to the ceiling. I'm just going to enjoy the silence of doing this. From here, we're going to roll onto one side, taking that pillow with you if that's what's comfortable for you. Still allowing those eyelids to be soft, that jaw not to be clenched, these fists not to be tight. Taking that mind back to those breathing. And slowly rolling onto that belly. You can still keep the pillow there if that's what's comfortable for you. Let that head relax, those arms. Just feeling the cold sensation on different parts of your body, to the roofs of your feet, your kneecaps to your quads, your hips and your lower belly, your ribs and your breasts, your arms and your shoulders, maybe even your face. From here, we're just going to raise the right foot and use that right hand to reach for it, bringing it closer to that bum. You might feel a bit of a stretch down the front of your leg. Try not to be too tense. 
but rather relax that heel towards the glute. Inhaling for three. Hold. And exhale. Bringing that left foot up to meet the right one. And using that hand to bring the opposite heel. And just staying here. You might feel that one's a little bit tighter than the other. That's okay. We normally are stronger on one side and more flexible on the other. There's no such thing as perfection. Letting go of that right foot, keep the left one close to the glute. And just feel the stretch. Take that breath back to letting go of any tension. We're going to go for two more rounds of breathing and then we will let that heel go in your own time. Enjoy the feeling without the stretch. Slowly, we're going to come up into a sphinx pose. You want those elbows to be directly below those shoulders. That chest up and the face high. Still with those eyes soft, you might just feel a slight stretch down the front of your torso or maybe the sides. Try not to let that bum squeeze, just relax. Let those feet fall to the floor. Keeping those shoulders away from their ears, stay high. Breathe in for three. Hold, two, one, and exhale for three. Breathe in for three. Hold, two, one, and exhale for three. Going up onto those hands now, into that full cobra position. Again, keeping those shoulders down away from those ears. Keeping that head high. Taking that head with a rotation to the left and a rotation to the right. Moving that body in a way that feels comfortable to you. Still slow and steady. Feeling the pace of the small movements. And in three, two, one, we're just going to push back into that child's pose. Keeping those knees wide, relaxing that head to the ground. Letting those hips sink to the floor, the glutes to the heels. Releasing any tension in that groin area.
slowly, I'm going to walk those hands up, bring those knees closer together. I'm going to go up into a high kneeling position, bringing that left foot forwards. We're going to stretch out those hip flexors. So squeezing that right glute. You really want to feel it pulling down that right hip flexor. You're going to bring your right arm over to one side. You can get a stretch down that lat. So you're going to have that left elbow on your left knee and the right hand overhead. And here you're going to slowly walk that left foot a little bit further forwards until you can sink into it. Bringing both hands to the ground. You're just going to fold over that knee. Still aiming to keep those eyes soft, the eyelids closed. You want that knee to be directly above your ankle. Remembering to inhale for three, hold and exhale for three. You might find with each breath you can sink a little bit lower, get that stretch a little bit more, or maybe you're just fine where you are. Whichever it is, try and focus on any sensations you're feeling. If it's too much, just come out of it. Slowly, we're going to lean back. Sitting onto that right heel, keeping that left leg straight. You can bring that right foot out from underneath your bum if that's more comfortable. And just staying here, we're going to reach a little bit further forwards on that left leg, aim to reach for those toes. We want to be focusing on the stillness that we're experiencing now or that we've experienced over the past few weeks before we go back into it. Normality might not be what we expect it to be. It might be different from what it was. And it's okay to be scared of that or to be excited about that. Slowly bringing the right leg round so both feet are together. Just reaching forward still, aiming to get to those toes. Hinging from the hips, letting that head sink low. This time just bringing that left leg round, you're just reaching for that right foot. Trying to walk those hands a little bit closer to that ankle.
And here we're going to sit back onto that left heel, bending that right knee and coming forwards onto the other side. So just walking that foot forwards until your ankle's directly below the knee, squeezing the left glutes so you're going to feel a stretch up to the left side of the hip flexor. Once you feel that stretch, putting that right hand onto the right leg and reaching over for that left stretch. In your own time, you can walk that left, right foot a little bit further forwards until you're ready to sink into the position. Dropping both hands to the ground. And falling over that knee like a waterfall. Focusing on that breathing still, letting those sounds around you pass. They're not important right now. You being here in this moment is. Aiming to sink that chest a little bit lower to the knee with each breath. Breathing in. Two, one, hold, and out. Two, one. When you're ready, you're just going to tense that left foot. Step that right foot back so you're in a high plank. And go all the way down to the ground. Relaxing that head back onto that pillow. Letting those ankles and legs fall into whatever position is comfortable. Guessing about what you're going to do later or next week or next year. It doesn't matter right now. In this unprecedented time, it's hard to plan anything. So what's the point in thinking about making plans for the future? You need to start to live in the present. Which is why it's great to think about what you've been enjoying and what you want to take forward. From here, you're just going to stretch your right arm out to one side. Taking that left leg, you're going to rotate over and just enjoy that pec stretch. Keeping that head relaxed on that pillow. You can have your opposite arm in a push up position if that's comfortable for you. Keeping those eyelids soft. Draw relaxed. Inhaling in. Hold. And exhale. Try and let go of any tension in those glutes. Any tension you may be feeling with your hands gripping or your feet. The only stretch we want to be feeling right now is across the pec. Mm. 
You want to enjoy that twist in the upper back. Slowly bring that knee back down. We're going to come back to center. Letting those arms relax into a position that feels natural for you. Maybe they're down by your sides or up in a T position. We're each different. From here, just bringing your left leg, arm out to one side. And this time the right foot's gonna rotate over. Moving your head away from your arm. Again, letting go of any tension you feel with that grip. That belly relax. Slowly letting that right leg drop. Again, depending on the position that's comfy for you, back on your belly. Enjoying the cold sensation for the last time on your front. As we come towards the end of today's session, just really let that mind relax. Stop trying to overanalyze things. And rolling onto one side, keeping that pillow there if that's what's comfortable for you. Finding a blanket if you're a little bit chilly. And rotating onto your back. Just dropping those legs to one side and then the other, releasing any tension in that lower back. Bring the knees into the chest and do the same if that's what's comfy for you. And once you're ready, we're going to go into that Shavasana pose. 
I like having a pillow under my knees. It doesn't need to be strict, just find a position that's comfortable for you. Letting those feet drop to one side, those knees open. Letting those hands facing the ceiling. Rotate those shoulders to be on the ground. Wiggle those toes a little bit, wiggle those hands. Let go of any energy you might have. Let that jaw loosen. And find stillness. in your own time, with remote toes. Start to move those fingers a little bit. Move those feet a little bit more comfortably. Stretch those hands over head. Or to the sky. Rotating to one side. And drawing the heaviness into the ground that you feel. Enjoying the softness of the pillow under your face. The warmth of the clothes that you're wearing. The relaxation that your body's feeling. And the emptiness of the mind. And slowly pushing up to seated. Just 
Just getting comfy in the position that you find. I'm going to read a quote to you guys by Mandy Hale. The beauty of life is in its shades of light and dark, heartbreak and healing, joy and sadness, laughter and tears. Everything can't be possible, be happy because the nothing would be happy. Just bringing those shoulders up to your ears, squeezing tight, inhaling, and let go. And again, breathe, 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 and drop. We've got three more. Inhale. And let it go. Two more. Get rid of any tension. And one more. Making it a big one. Making it your last one. And that is us. Thank you guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your evening. Well done for making time for yourselves. Thanks so much, Annie. No worries. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Hopefully, see you soon. You. Not by a Zoom. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye.